I like reading things on the internet. So I read some articles, I look on the list and find an article I like. And uh, let's say I would like this article. Uh, I generally have a tendency if I really like the article to save it. So I just click Ctrl S on my keyboard and I save the article on my desktop and um, put it in a folder. After a while, I uh, I get a big list. This It's a huge list. These are only from January, but it's a huge list of articles I have. I won't show it because uh, there's some who are private, but uh, this is a big list of articles which I like. And uh, in them, uh, I, I make an archive. So I make an archive and it contains the HTML file and the files and if I double click it, it will open. Perhaps not great, but uh, it's still better to be able to find it uh, five years after. So uh, I save the articles on the internet because uh, things get to get deleted. So perhaps not in a year, but in two years like 20% get deleted and in five more years another 20% and uh, if you like 10 articles from 2007 it's a big probability that like half of them are not there on the internet anymore so I've saved them, I save stuff and after I save them I make an archive so that when I copy on a hard drive or something it's much simpler and easier because if this would be copied on the hard drive back and forth uh, it will take a lo it will take a long time and you will see this this is the path to the files and it's a long path and if I click extract here it, even now it has a problem so uh, it's it's complicated to have a long path and to make it sure it works and all the stuff like that so in order to prevent that I, I create an archive and I work within an archive I open the archive and read it like this and for uh, one second I, it takes me to open it, it's, uh, it's a fine, um, um, it's a compromise, it's a fine compromise. So how do I do this? So let's say I have this list of articles. This is from T to W, I've been working right now from A to B. So you can imagine this link, this list was much uh, longer. And uh, now I have only the article from T to Z. And these are the data file, which are images, CSS file, JavaScript, and these are the HTML files. Okay, so how to make them in things like this? So first of all, if you imagine this big link list of links, you, what I would do first is like select from T to W and only work with them. Because if you have a very, very long list, it's much more difficult to work with lots of things at the same time. So I would just select a pack of things which I would want and cut and make a new folder temp work and I would work in there and I would put them in there so in here there would be a big list in here only a segment okay the next thing to do is sort them by date modified click once now click once again and right now you work from uh, from here upwards so you copy this and you create a folder and now you select this and this and you drag and drop it in here the next one this, you create a folder and uh, you do this I forgot to do one, one more step to do this ok and this is like uh, the same date And I will do it again. It looks, it looks like I've read some things on that date. This is one interesting article, especially it has it has good comments, and uh, I would hate to see it last somewhere. So it's a summary of best uh, collective intelligence over the internet. So it's quite nice.
this article says that I, I think it says because perhaps I'm wrong but I've read it's, it says like butter is not so bad so after reading that article I uh, I started eating more butter <laughs> look and this is uh, this is an article which I don't have and I will explain it soon okay another one which is missing oh no, no sorry this was right okay I just so it's like this F2 copy new folder I think F7 works also F, I don't know so perhaps shift F10 shift F10 oh. so if I click here shift F10 W W enter F but it's complicated so it's instead of this is much simpler to just push this button If it's a very long uh, title, you can consider just taking a part of it. So, just taking this, you know, because it might break. It might, it might. It's not so good when you have a very long uh, file. <laughs> yes, it's hazardous. Right, let's. Let's make it like this because <laughs> it, it had no sense. Okay, so how do I do it? Let me, so, so I do it like this: F2, copy, new folder, put the date, and just paste. I will do it once more. So F2, copy, new folder, date. Uh, in here I do it like this: I go Control Right. And now left, shift end, delete, enter, home, no, end, home, no, end, control, home, space, end, no, the end wasn't necessary. Cut, control X, end, up, enter, control V. I, I will use a lot of things, uh, I, I copied the wrong, uh, I use a lot of shortcuts. Okay, so what happened with this thing? This is an article from Inc. So let's see if I uh, Google it, if I can Google it. No, <laughs> I've shared this one, so I really like it. Oh, I don't know. So I've shared it, I think it's on Inc, okay. And why it wasn't showing? I'm curious. It's the same article, I don't know, copy paste something, I don't know, I can't see what's the region. But let's say I want to save this one, because it's. I think it's pretty much the same article, even the title, uh, so it's, okay. So I, I, I save it, yeah, and click save. And it says in here it's saved, look, now it's saving, now it's the, done. And you open the desktop and there are the files, the images, the JavaScript, all, but no HTML, I press F5, no HTML. So it didn't save. Chrome does this thing. So the solution is just open this link in Firefox and save it. It does this from time to time. But I generally ignore it. So when I save it, I don't care because I will I know I will revisit the link in one month and then I will process them in process the links in bulk. So I will just uh, I forgot the name. So the date is, uh, I, I'm looking at the date in here. Okay, so now I've done, I have this. Now I have created the new URR, you can, um, you, you can create profiles which you, which open to right click. I will not show it, show it to you right now, but you can Google it and so look, look how it's done, add to archive go to profiles, save this to a new profile 
and you do it like this. Look, and you leave a space. Olivia, I'm doing yes. And what this end does is that it it makes a shortcut. So right after the end, the the character is space. So it will make a shortcut for space. But if we want to make a shortcut for F, you can put F or F or G or H or space, whatever you want. Add to context menu, immediate execution. So this will not show. You can even make it as default profile. So what this does is, look, I right click. And if I press space, you can't see it. It's not a shortcut, but look, this one. If I press space, so we right click and space. It add to archive, it makes a zip, best compression, then it deletes the file. So, home, enter, control A, right click, space. And it makes the archive. Home, enter, control A, right click, space. Home, and uh, enter, control A, right click, space. And I do it for all the files. Oh, I, I done, done something wrong. Okay. I don't think that even have to wait in the folder until the archive completes. It may not delete that. Sometimes, sometimes it will have a problem adding some files, and then perhaps it will not delete that file. But there is a solution to that. So first of all, just finish this task, which shouldn't take long. Okay, it's done. Now you just search for things which are files. And these are two folders which uh, have not been uh, saved. And I will show you that even though those files are now deleted, it has saved some files, or not all of them, but some files. And generally it looks okay even if it had that file deleted. Not the perfect thing, but generally okay. It wants to contradict me or something. Another solution with, for you to avoid this is when you save this, instead of leaving this long, long text, you just you just type this one word or two or something like that, and it will it will be much uh, better. It would be better because, uh, as you have seen, it has deleted me some of the things in there, so it seems it has a problem. Let's open it in Firefox. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't have everything in the page, but it's easy to read, and generally I can Google it. So it even five years from now is a fifty percent chance I will uh, I will find it on Google. So I, I really don't care if it doesn't have all the images or it doesn't look perfect or something. It's it's good enough. So the solution the alternative to this is like uh, having like a screenshot making a screenshot and this is a page an image this is image not the text image and i would have it like uh, saved like this but it's I, I generally don't like doing this i prefer to look it dull so not with all with not all the images rather than making this because this i can't select i can't select the text it's an image Okay, so uh, these are my tips for saving things. Good luck.